So one of the things that we can do in our garden is look at some of the different bugs and insects, little creatures that are around. Um, if you're lucky enough to get outside and pick up a couple of logs and stones, uh, then you can put them around your house and insects will come and, uh, and make a home uh, in, in them. So, um, so if you if you can do that, that's great, and it's great for the environment. So, so uh, I'm just going to show you. This is this is my log pile, um, and under here, if we lift up some of the the logs, uh, then we might be lucky enough to see some creatures. Right here, we've got I'm very lucky here. We've got a bee. Very unusual to see. That there, absolutely essential for our ecosystem. Let's have a look if we've got anything else just under here. I might have to get to the to the bottom of, of this to actually get some. There we go, a little snail on there. And if we can look down there, there's some ants as well. Here we've got a couple of wood lives that move around. A little baby slug. There's all sorts of little creatures that you can find. And it's great to teach the teach kids around what each of these bugs does and how important they are as well. You might find some spiders down here as well. I was having a little play around here yesterday, so I think I've scared a few of them off. But um, if you get a chance to have a look in the garden, uh, bring some things back from your walk and, and put them out, and uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to see some of the little creatures and insects. There we go, some more wood last on there, and a big spider, there we go. I see that one just pottering around in his little web. So yeah, uh, I've also got a bug bingo that we've put up, so check that out. And if you want to post any of your um, videos or, or, or pictures of the little insects and creatures that you found in your garden or out on your, on your daily walks, then please feel free to do so. All right, take care, stay safe, and stay well.